Are people still attracted to this uh, profession after all? Okay, I would say people are attracted to this profession because it is an opportunity for them to leave this country, not an opportunity for them to give back to their country. The country is not giving what they need based on what they've studied. The country is limiting the knowledge that nurses have. The country is limiting their strengths, their skills, and their experiences. The country is making them feel as if they don't want what they have. But when they see the opportunity outside Nigeria, and they could see a place that could match with what they've studied, a place that could match with what they've read in different novels, in different articles, what they've heard in different seminars and workshops that they've gone to, they will rush to the place. UK is begging nurses to come, please come. US is creating doors for nurses to come. Northern Ireland is doing the same thing. There are a lot of countries that are begging Nigerian nurses because they feel that Nigerian nurses are not being appreciated enough. But our country is not seeing the worth of this set of professionals. So this is making a lot of people to think of, OK, will I still stay here and not be able to sustain myself and my family? I'm currently in this country because I'm working in a place that they have the standard of care and they're after providing quality health care to Nigerians. How many organizations in Nigeria, especially government-owned organizations, can say they can provide quality health care to Nigerians? Many people rush down to our hospital because they feel oh, there is a place that they can get good care. Yet, um, the hospital is still programmed alongside with what happens in Nigeria. The hospital is training a lot of people, and people are living in masses. In fact, they are almost regretting that. Are we training people to global standards so to leave Nigeria? To outside countries. Exactly. Mm. But is that to say that, you know, getting into, going to school to study this profession, to acquire more skills, is an automatic visa for you to get out of the country? Is that the point you're trying to make? Okay. I won't say it's automatic, but it gives you more edge than every other set of people. Now... You're working in a place where you as a nurse, you are attending to 30 patients. Yeah. You are working in a place where you as a nurse, you don't have enough facility. Mm -hmm. Even some government-owned hospitals, I don't want to say in Lagos, they don't have light supply to do what they want to do. Yeah. Some use this touch from their phone. This is affecting a lot of people to do what they ought to do for their patients. This is draining their own energy. Some people will get some. A friend of mine had an accident recently. I'm sure it could be related to being tired while driving or while coming back from work. So a lot of people are going through a lot of things, and they feel they can't just keep in this shape. They can't just be bottled up in this community. Mm -hmm. That is why a lot of people are living in mass. Mm -hmm. And it will continue to go on like that until Nigeria can come to their thoughts of what can they do to sustain these people. Let them provide quality equipment for nurses to work. Mm. Let them give them good pay because we can't take it out of it. Before it used to be a profession of you're doing it for the mission, you're doing it to save people. Mm. But now people are getting to understand that you went to school, you spent millions of naira to get your certificate. Your parent invested in you. So you should be able to give back to yourself and also to your family. Mm. So let there be more investment. Globally, they are talking about investment in nursing. Is, the, is this country ready to invest in nurses? Are they ready to invest in their knowledge and skills? Are they ready to invest in the healthcare sector globally? I mean, in this country, to give them what they need financially, morally, and all spheres of their life, whereas other countries are providing this to them. So they will be willing to go to another country that are providing this than staying back in this country. Well, um, <laughs> quite amazing. Um, Julie, let me bring this to you. He, he's yeah. actually raised the issue of uh, brain drain. And report says that our country has lost more than 11,000 nurses and midwives to, you know, other developed 13, countries. 000. Between 13,000, imagine, 20, tw between 10, 2019 and this year, 2020. So talk about to us about 13, how, these, yeah. how this has been affecting the profession, especially as compounded by the attrition of midwives and nurses? All right, so first, first, first off, when I heard you introduce Owolabi, I was like, so he's still in the country. And I'm sure he would have the same thoughts about me, hearing that I am still here. So it's not a question of if you would leave. The question is, when are you leaving? 
what country are you leading to? That is one. Two, we have seen ourselves, including in our interview questions, because I'm a nurse entrepreneur. I have been doing nursing business for quite some time. So I have found myself when I'm recruiting nurses to ask the question, what is your migration plan? So the, the, the first reaction is that nurses wouldn't want to say, I said, hey, we know if nurses are leaving, but just let us know what your plans are so it can enable us to plot our graph properly so we know when you are leaving and then we know we have to find, to find a replacement. So it's not a question of, are you leaving? It's when are you leaving? Talking about the impact is hard or not, for, the, for those who are currently on ground still in Nigeria, it's giving us a whole lot of work. Those within the hospital, they are already short-staffed, and now nurses are leaving. They are looking for people to cover shit. And then when we have certain cases that need perhaps 15 hourly, uh, 15 minutes uh, or quarterly uh, monitoring, or they need someone that would be on a patient for two, four, seven, the patients themselves are forced to pay more to get a private nurse. Because the nurses in the hospital are not enough. They are short staffed already. But people need quality care. They need adequate care. They need sufficient care. They need their nurses around them. But where are the nurses? So it's, a, it's further compounding our problems in terms that the patients are not getting the quality care that they deserve because they have a right to quality care. So they are not getting it. Then in our economy, it also has an adverse effect. Because the nurse is trained to render care. And as our care needs are dynamic, the nurses are available. It might surprise you to know that globally, there are over a hundred specialties in nursing cutting across every sphere of life. Cutting across every sphere of life. And I tell you, over a hundred specialties in nursing. Imagine if Nigeria opened up their, their doors to this specialty and empowered nurses to carry out responsibility. One, I'm going to tell you, when patients are in the hospital, some patients don't have a business staying long term in a hospital. I imagine if we had extended care facilities managed by nurses, nurse-led facilities. So the doctor discharges the patient, tells the patient, in fact, let me even share an example. Last December, we had a case, uh, we had to, the, the, the family was forced to get private nurses. They were paying more while on admission. And then when I got to find out the history, I discovered that, oh my goodness, if they were aware that it was possible for them to get home care services, they would have asked for a discharge because the case that we went in there to manage was a case that was gotten right from the hospital. There's something called nosocomial infection, hospital-related infection. Now, if this patient was taken, was, uh, was uh, treated and then discharged to an extended care facility, mm. that patient would not have contracted that infection. And sadly, the patient died. So let's have our government invest in nurses. Let's have them save themselves and make themselves some money to better improve the healthcare system. So it has, we, can't, we cannot start elaborating the impact that it has. I, I would call more, challenge the government more to have more conversations, more roundtable conversations with nurses. So that we understand our patients' needs. We understand the problem because we face them in the hospitals. I am not working within the hospital setting. I consult with hospitals because I discovered that there's a lot of challenges outside of the hospital, free admission. That not so many conversations are being had in that in, in that area. Yeah, Julie. And we're just very few. So when nurses are leaving, it's 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 more challenging for us to manage the manage these health needs. Right, Julie.